We're in this beautiful venue, Draper's Hall today. We're so lucky that they have given it to us pro bono for our conference today. Our conference brings together people from universities, from schools, from further education, young people, the voice of previous education ministers as well, a whole variety of educational thinkers and researchers. We were absolutely uh, bowled over by the popularity of this event, so uh, we're going to have a maximum capacity here and we had a waiting list of people. This is clearly something that's firing up people right across the education system so that we can think through what the problems of change might be, the implications for the country, but also what the possibilities are for improving the way that we are assessing young people. We're really lucky and our keynote speakers, we have Andy Haldane, who was previously Chief Economist of the Bank of England, but who's now Chief Executive of the Royal Society of Arts. And we have Dr Beatrice Pond. Now Beatrice is an extraordinary person. She's working for UNESCO and she is trying to promote the best education for all young people across the globe. We have a number of panel sessions and plenary sessions bringing together thinkers in all sorts of different disciplines. Uh, we've got a stellar cast of people speaking as you'd expect um, but I think again it's nice to see them, them coming from all kinds of different backgrounds from, from business, from the charity sector, from schools and colleges themselves and we're going to have some real examples in the break of schools and colleges that are already doing something different. So again, this isn't just aspiration, it's not just future gazing, um, it's also celebrating what's happening on the ground and showing that it's, it's already working. I definitely think this conference is important for two reasons. First, for us to come together and discuss the future of education and how we can help young people and assessment. And I think the second reason why this conference is really important is we're getting to hear from experts in this industry having the lived experiences of them, having to hear about how we can actually better the education system and reform assessment. I hope people will be enthused. I hope people will begin to think about how education might be reformed, about, yes, the implications and the problems, but how exciting it could be if we could create a different world in which young people could grow up and feel empowered to take their place. It's been really interesting to hear about the way you can layer this kind of assessment and knowledge application on top of existing qualifications. So I think something that we're going to be looking to do is to look to elements of a curriculum that not only are about using knowledge but also about evidencing the skills, aptitudes, behaviours that make a student really effective in the workplace and at university. So most importantly we want this conference to begin a conversation across all the educational providers from schools through to universities of all sorts, further education and through to employment where we draw the threads together. The threads, the skills, the thoughts, the attributes that we want young people to have which are going to empower them to lead the future of the world.